So it would be, oh, oh it's this one. It's so we're gonna go check out Stan's house to see if it's a project that we wanna take on. Stan is actually house hunting right now in Idaho mm -hmm. to be closer to his daughter and grandkids. Yeah, so he's not gonna be able to join us today, but he left us a key so we can look around. Oh, okay. Well, Shannon wasn't kidding, Leslie. Yeah. I mean, it's the amount of uh, debris and garbage out front. There's no way you could sell a home no. with all this out front. Sticker bushes, these roadies. I mean, they're all just out of control. What are the stats on this house? This is our traditional Bothell 70s this, home. Yep. Just over 2,000 square foot. Okay. It is three bedrooms. It is a split level. I mean, tons and tons of potential. It's yeah. just how much will it cost to get it back there? I'm anxious to see what the inside looks like. Yeah. All right. Walking into the jungle. Like if this was just open oh, here. Oh, it's gotta be completely cleared. Oh my oh, gosh. gosh, look at this tree. You know what, it's already kind of inspiring me for a design concept for the house. Okay, here we go. So, ooh. Oh, put a little 70s chandelier. Yeah, popcorn that, ceiling. That, but definitely um, housekeeping. Yeah. Okay, oh. oh. Okay. Nope. Yeah. Okay. This is a lot this is a of lot. stuff. I can visualize a lot, but this is a lot to look past. Yeah. It's On the positive, I love that fireplace and I love these windows in that yeah. tree. Yeah. Okay, look past the stuff. Large living space. This is a big living space. That's true. Um, wow. Just like old school radio. Hey, it works. Lots of good space. I mean, I actually like the sink in the corner yeah. because I like this little view here. I love that it goes out to the deck. Love that. Okay, let's keep looking. So our bedroom should be down the hall. Oh, wow. Yep. Jam packed. Oh, no. There's no way they use this as a bedroom. No. Okay. Do you have a minute to talk about Stan's house yesterday? Yeah. Honestly, my biggest concern is if we invest money into it, the value coming back out. A hundred percent. I mean, he was selling at 500. Yep. Nobody's touching it. I have found comps and these are all, you know, two, around 2,000 square foot, uh, 1,800 square foot split and 2,300. Level. All split level, all bothel, two car garage, similar lot sizes. Here is 745. Okay. Here is 735. Nice. Here is uh, 790. So we absolutely have the ability, and these are completely renovated, sold in 12 days. And Bothell, that's right around the corner. Right around the corner. I would love to take on this project. So let's go ahead and call him. Okay. Twins we're looking at? It is. We are twins. So, Stan, Lindsay and I visited your house uh, earlier this week to take a peek at it. I was not lying, was I? No, no. There's a lot of stuff. Well, it wasn't all my stuff. For the most part, it was. Oh. <laughs> Shannon, her mother, my mother, my dad. Well, you have been a very good storage unit. Yeah. You tried to sell it 500 with the condition, nobody wants to take it off your hand. I think if you continue that, you're gonna keep sitting. I just don't think it's gonna happen. Looking at the homes in the neighborhood, we definitely have the ability to push the price of your home up to, you know, the mid 700s, probably 750, maybe even higher. Okay with me. Sounds good to me. And to attract high-end buyers, we're thinking we're gonna need to put in about $100,000 into this house. We'll need to open up the living room, remodel and update the kitchen and both bathrooms, as well as get that basement entertainment ready. We'll put about 15,000 into the bedrooms as well. And we'll need to add about $20,000 to give this house some curb appeal. That's a minimum of $150,000 difference. So that would be $75,000 to you, $75,000 to us, because we would split that difference. Sounds amazing. We're getting Wonderful. a thumbs up. So if you feel comfortable, we're gonna give you two weeks to get your stuff out that you want out okay. for your new place in Idaho. And then we will come in and we will take care of the rest. Feel good. Yep, like Let's it. Let's go. Bye. Bye. I'm 
With Stan totally moved out, Luke arranged for a charity to take the furniture to their thrift stores. And we donated the rest of the stuff in the house. Now that the house is empty, I have a better idea of how I want to take the house out of the 70s and into a more contemporary high-end market. The living room is nice and big, but I want to update it by scraping the popcorn ceilings, adding can lights, new floors, and paint. The kitchen needs a better flow, so we'll open up the wall from the dining room, add new floors, new paint, all new cabinets and appliances, and a unique tile backsplash. We'll need to brighten up the bedrooms, scrape the popcorn ceilings, add fresh carpet, paint, and all new fixtures. For the bathrooms, I'll give it a total refresh with new paint, towel floors, light fixtures, vanity, and shower. In the basement, we'll remove the popcorn ceilings, update the lighting, paint the walls, and add new carpet. And just like upstairs, the basement has a vintage brick fireplace with wood accents, which I really want to keep. I think the wood is gorgeous, and it's actually coming back into style. And Jeff is finally kicking off the demolition. We're making good headway at Stan's house to give life back to this lackluster home. We've removed the popcorn ceilings, and we're giving the walls a much needed fresh coat of paint. And now that the kitchen cabinets have arrived, it's time to check in with Jeff to hone in our earthy contemporary design for our potential upscale buyers. Turning Stan's house into that showroom ready house that's gonna bring in those upscale buyers has been a huge project. On the exterior, the sod is going in, the front deck is being built, and we're installing the new metal and cedar railings, which will be really impressive when buyers pull up to this house. Inside, the main bathroom is getting earthy brown tiles installed as well as a glass shower wall, which is really going to make the bathroom feel bigger and more spa-like. But we still have a lot to do to make it stand out on the market for a higher listing price. We're literally staging in two days and you have me hanging stuff again. Since the dining room feature wall turned out so cool, I thought maybe we could try a little variation of that in the main bedroom. I had Dan give us a painted box that is the size of a queen okay. bed. I would love to mimic again what we did in the dining room and create a headboard or, again, a piece of interest above the bed. Okay. So, pre-painted these boards. Yeah. Okay. So we'll come from the top and we'll come from the bottom on this one, so together. Okay, so do you wanna start on that side then? Since I have these ones laid out? Yeah. I did it less, like, dramatic as the dining room where it was just lacquered wood, but we painted. Yep. Because I want it to be more subtle. I think it's gonna look better as a headboard being uniformed. Yeah, agree. Perfect. When a buyer goes out on a weekend and sees 10 homes, you can't remember which house had what unless you give them something that really stands out. Yep. In this house, they're gonna go home and say, oh no, that was the one that had all that cool wood. Yeah. Accent pieces on the wall. Yeah. This house is not gonna be mushed into somebody else's. I really like this lens. I think it looks awesome. You're getting very good at this. We're here at Stan's house, and I mean, that to-do list has been completely checked off. Yeah. The landscape's completed. The front deck looks amazing. amazing. The, the backsplash is completed. We're fully painted inside. All the light fixtures are in. We are at the tail end of this project. Yes. We're ready to go through, check things off our list, kick people out, and start staging. Are you ready? I'm ready. Just a minute. OK. Oh my God, this might be them. Wow. Stan. Oh, Stan's not <laughs> smiling. Oh my gosh. Look at Stan's face. Hello. Hello. You guys. Are you shocked? It looks so good. Come on up, Stan. What are you thinking? Look how nice you look. Wow, sir. That's a lot of rocks. That, that is awesome. a lot of rocks. Do you like it? It's really different. How about that? What happened to my old railing? 
We've made a lot of changes inside. Well. Okay, let's go check it out. Do it. All right. Awesome. <gasps> you guys. What do you think? You herring boned it. I love it. We wanted to give a little bit of a design to it. Looks good. Yeah, yeah, it looks great. Well, and our kind of style here is earthy contemporary, and you'll see that throughout. But this is kind of more of that contemporary feel with the yeah. metal and the herringbone. So far, so good. Yeah. You like the deck. I do very much, yeah. Yep, oh, it good. needed this so bad. OK, let's here go to the kitchen. Kitchen, kitchen time. Kitchen. Oh, my you. gosh. Here we go. This is not the same house. What do you think, Stan? I'm trying to adapt. <laughs> this is so crazy. This is like the Twilight Zone. Holy cow. Is holy cow good? Stan's not exactly the most reactionary person. Emotional. Over the top. Yeah. I kept on going, Stan. Enthusiastic. Stan, give me a little more. And it was, whoa. 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 You I guys. Like it. Yeah. It's a dining room. So we opened up this wall because we put a defined dining space, but wanted to make sure that it was close enough where you felt like you were connected. And then Leslie did this. Oh. I built this oh. wood wall. She did that little. You did that? I yeah. did. It was Lindsay's idea, and then I had to put it together. What do you like best so far, Stan? Everything. It's just the color combinations and stuff that you've got. Uh, missing this wall and opening all this up is really, really nice. Yeah. OK, let's see what your bathroom looks like, Stan. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. You guys. That tile is amazing. You took this tiny baby bathroom and made it awesome. The shower is nice. This shower is so cool. Pretty slick, all right. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I'm so happy you like it. This is luxurious, you guys. Yes, it looks great. Better Let's go than see pretty those good. spare bedrooms. Wow. Everything about this house, you've done an amazing job. I certainly wouldn't. Uh, I've managed it myself, so. Well, we're really happy we got to be a part of it. So your original list price was 500,000, which did not bring you a buyer. And I'm actually happy it didn't because I think you had so much more potential in this house. Um, so listing at 500,000, we actually came in and put in $100,000 of our own money into this renovation. Uh, with that, after looking at comps, we've adjusted your sales price to 745,000. Once we get paid back our $100,000, we'll have a profit of $145,000. We'll split the difference, $72,500 each, for taking on this project together. Wonderful. Our goal is to obviously get you top dollars. Yeah. So what our plan was, was to hit the market on Thursday, and then we want to hold offers here to give four or five days for as many people to come through the house as possible and then review all offers that we get together. How does that sound to you guys? I think it sounds great. I think you guys did an amazing job. Yay. Yeah. It, awesome. I agree. It, it, Thank you. It exceeded my expectations about what you would do here. You know, we already got pictures taken, so we're ready to push that button and get it out there. Let's do it. Awesome. Awesome. We'll walk you guys out. Thank you so much. You guys live in the area because I do. noticed you right didn't drive up. <laughs> we really? live right next door. Oh wow! We've been there for uh, gosh, 43 years. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh! Yeah. So yeah. you've seen this house in all its glory. Yes, we have. <laughs> <laughs> yes, quite true. It's changed uh, quite a bit. Yes, quite yeah. a bit. When we were pulling up, we just loved the way it looked. It looked very inviting, very awesome. open, and so this is nice. And we love the fact that there's a deck on top. Just. Just being able to look out here onto the yes. cul-de-sac is, is great. It is. The, the kids could play right here in the middle. And then you have a little bit of a territorial view back yeah. over there as well. You got a lot of trees around. Gosh, I might yeah. hire you to sell this house. It looks great. <laughs> I'm just being honest. This yeah. looks fantastic. I love, I love it. it. I text her and she has Stan over at her house. So they're ready to talk. Here they come. How are you? Of 
fabulous. As you know, we were gonna hold offers until Monday, but we're only three days in right now, and we already have five offers in hand. And one offer that I feel like is so good that I really wanted to get in front of you guys. This offer is at 855. Excellent. Wow. Excellent. Seriously? Yeah. Yes. They um, are a younger couple. He's in the tech industry. So exactly what we anticipated. They want to close in 30 days. I mean, really about as phenomenal of an offer as we can get as far as the whole package is concerned. Yay. Wow. Do you want to take this offer? Well, I, I hate to waste a fabulous offer. I'd say take it. Awesome. Yeah. We listed at 745 and we ended up accepting the offer at 855. And that includes no contingencies, no inspection, no requirements on financing, mm -hmm. and we're gonna close in 30 days. So that's like ideal. Do this. Thanks guys, we'll get the paperwork over and we'll be in touch. Thanks hey guys, thank you so much. We'll miss you, Stan. I'll be around. Oh.